Hi everybody! Today we are in the kitchen making some sourdough Hawaiian rolls. Of course, the night before you want to mix your dough, make sure you feed your starter so that it's nice and active the next day. Then you will want to go ahead and put all of the liquid ingredients into a saucepan. So that includes the butter, the uh, sugar, the pineapple juice, the milk, and we're going to put the salt in there just so we can go ahead and get all of these things, you know, heated up together and dissolved into a nice smooth mixture. So just go ahead and do this over like a pretty low heat. It doesn't have to be that high. But again, you just want all those sugars and everything to kind of meld together and dissolve. And then once you have this mixture nice and smooth, you're gonna want to um, let it cool off to get to room temperature so it's not too hot to work with. So what I like to do is after this is done, I will go ahead and pour it into the bowl of my stand mixer. So that's in there and it takes, you know, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes for that to cool down enough to work with. But when that's ready, you just go ahead and add your sourdough starter and your bread flour. Now, even though I'm using a stand mixer to mix this dough, this first initial mix, I like to use my offset spatula and just get in there. And you're not trying to really overwork the dough. You're just trying to combine all the wet and the dry ingredients and to where there's, you know, no dry bits left at the bottom of the bowl. So just use that spatula to scrape everything up really good and get it all mixed. And then I'm gonna cover this bowl and let it sit there for an hour. And that's just gonna give time, the dough time to absorb all the moisture and do its magic. Now we're going to use a dough hook and I'm gonna put the mixer on about speed one or two. I started off kind of slow and then we go a little bit higher. So you can either start out on that, you know, mixing speed or speed one, two at the very, very highest. But you're gonna let this go for eight minutes. And after eight minutes, it's gonna kind of look like this. You can see it's a, it's, it kind of looks like a wet dough that's you know sticky but this is what it's supposed to look like so what I like to do with this dough you can leave it right in this bowl and let it rise in that bowl for the first rise but I wanted to transfer it to a clear bowl so that I can actually watch it from the side so that I can see when it is, has definitely risen by 50% so that's what you want to do just cover this up and let it sit on the counter at room temperature until it's risen by 50%. And um, this day it was 68 degrees in my kitchen. I believe it took about three to four hours, something like that. But after it's done, you're going to turn this dough out onto a floured surface. And you'll see that I'm gonna take some uh, flour and put it on my hands so that I can work this dough out because again, it is a more sticky dough. So once you have the dough out on the counter, just add a little bit more flour so that it's easier to work with. And then I have a scale. Each one of these dough balls are gonna weigh approximately 74 grams. But if you don't have a scale, you just pat this dough out into a rectangle shape and you want to divide it into 12 equal portions and then so you'll see that I'm just gonna you know use my bench scraper this is a must-have when it comes to sourdough because it just makes dividing your dough cleaning your work surface all that stuff so much easier so go ahead and continue to divide the dough into 12 equal portions and then I'm going to show you how we shape them. I 
Okay, this is super easy. Just take all the edges and kind of fold them up to the top, flip the ball over, and then use your hands to gently cup the, the ball and rotate it around, and it should form a nice tight little ball. And if your, your fingers start sticking, feel free to just add a little bit more flour. You don't need to be afraid of adding any flour at this point. So I'm gonna do one more at regular speed, just so you can see. And then I will go ahead and speed up the rest of the shaping. I think I may have forgotten to tell you that before I put the dough into this glass baking dish, I did hit it with a little cooking spray. Another thing I forgot to mention is that you want to use a glass uh, dish baking dish. It does give you a softer roll. Um, when I've experimented with it, you can use a tin baking dish, but you're going to want to um, up the temperature to 400 and just keep an eye on it so that they don't over brown while they're baking. But after you get all of the rolls shaped and into the baking dish, you're going to want to, you can do two things. You can either cover these up, stick them in the fridge, and then, you know, when you're ready to bake, you know, they can sit in there for about 36 hours you just pull them out, let them do their second rise, and then bake. Or if you want to bake them the same day, you just simply, after they're shaped and everything, you can cover this up and let them sit out on the counter, you know, depending on the temperature of your kitchen. Uh, like I said, I believe this was about three hours, maybe three to four hours that they took to kind of get this puppy. They don't have to rise too, too much, but you want them to be nice and big and puppy. So I have my oven preheating to 375 and now I'm just lightly brushing the top of the rolls with some egg wash and this is going to give them that shiny um, surface when they bake. You want to bake them for 25 to 30 minutes or until they're golden brown on the top. And that's it. That's how you make delicious sourdough Hawaiian rolls. Bye!